can't find it. It doesn't seem to be on any of these stations. Keep looking. Oh, you're going too slow. Let me take the wheel. It's too fast. How could you even tell what's on? I can tell. What's going on, guys? Too late. Back, back, back. Too late. I'm in the 40s. Gotta go around the horn. Faster. Wait, 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 wait. So, let's get straight into it. Now, Ed. In today's video, I'll be giving you my full guide on how to start mahogany home contracts. This is a really fun and new way to do construction, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so before I get into this guide, I just want to clear up a few things and let you know how I wanted to make this video. At first, I wanted to do a loop from 10 hours opening the supply crates just to see how much I can make. Now, I've seen some videos where they open 50 crates or 100 crates and they make next to nothing, so in the end, I found that idea pointless. The next idea which is what I was currently working on and that was completing contracts till I've unlocked every item in the reward shop. Now I thought this would take me around 3-4 to four days, obviously I was wrong. So now in the end I decided to make a full guide instead and I'll also show you my progress from when I started to when I finished just to make the grind worthwhile. Also I didn't want to have a massive gap in my videos so hope you guys understand. I'm going to stop rambling on now and get straight back to the guide. Okay so this update came out on the 26th of August and this is called Mahogany Homes, a new way of training construction from completing contracts and repairing people's homes. Now the only requirement you'll need is a house so it doesn't matter which one and I think the cheapest house is 1k. Now once you own a house you can speak to someone called Amy who runs a construction company which is located in Falador. Now there's three other locations you can grab a contract from. The first one is in Barrock, just west of the church, and the NPC is called Marlow. Next is in RD, just west of the market, you can't miss it, and the NPC is called Ellie. And the last person is in Hasidius, northeast of the market, and the NPC is called Angelo. Now alternatively, you can use the NPC contact spell, which requires 67 magic, and you're going to need one astral, one cosmic, and two air runes per cast. And when you use this spell you want to scroll to the bottom and you'll see Amy. When you select her you can get a new contract instead of manually going to the other areas I mentioned a minute ago. So it saves a lot of time. Now depending on your construction level you can get any of these four contracts. So if you have one construction you can use the beginner tier contract and you'll need normal planks and steel bars. If you have 20 construction you can use the novice tier and you'll need oak planks and steel bars. 50 construction which is the adept tier and you'll need teak planks and steel bars and if you are 70 construction which is the expert tier and also the highest tier then you'll need mahogany planks and steel bars. Now you won't be using many steel bars compared to planks and I'll explain that in a minute. The items you'll have in your inventory is one hammer and a saw. You won't need any nails throughout the contracts which is nice. I would have a rune pouch to store the runes for the NPC contact spell as I mentioned earlier. The rest will be planks and steel bars. I would suggest taking around two steel bars and the rest filled with planks. Now once you get a contract, in your chat box you'll get asked to travel to a specific area, 4 cities and 12 areas to be exact. So you have 3 in East Aldi, 3 in Falador, 3 in Hasidius and 3 in Varrock. So once you arrive at the right location, there'll be certain pieces of furniture that needs fixing and that will be marked red. The best part about this is that you don't have to right click and remove the item then right click to build like normal construction. With this you just left click, which makes this 100 times better and easier and also you get construction XP whilst doing this which is nice. Now if you're not sure if you've fixed everything, just speak to the owner of the house so he or she will tell you what you've missed. And once you're finished fixing the furniture, you'll get a green message in your chat box saying, seems happy with your work, talk to her or him for your reward. Now once you speak to the owner of the house, you will receive your carpenter points as well as construction XP boost. Now if you was doing a beginner contract, you will receive 500 bonus XP, novice will be 1250 bonus XP, Adept will be 2,250 bonus XP and Expert you will receive 2,750 bonus XP. Now once you carry on talking to the NPC they will offer you a tea. Now this is a nice touch that Jagex added because if you accept the tea your run energy will be restored to 100% and this will happen every time you complete a contract which is really cool. And yeah once you complete your first contract just repeat. Now the XP rates depends on what tier you're doing, so for example if you're starting at level 1 you will average around 35k XP per hour, novice is between 65 and 75k XP per hour, adept is between 110 and 125k XP per hour, 
and expert is between 165 and 190k XP per hour. So let's talk about the more fun and interesting part of this guide and that is the rewards. Now when you've accumulated enough points from your contracts you can purchase these rewards. So no particular order, we have the full carpenter outfit which looks really cool and you will need 2000 points for that and this gives 2.5% XP boost like other outfits like the anglers, thieving etc. Next we have a supply crate which only costs 25 points but this is like a winter tod crate where you get a random reward so in this case you can get oak, teak or mahogany planks, bolt of cloth, limestone brick, steel bar and soft clay. So this is what I mentioned at the start of the video when people was buying 50 to 100 crates and you was getting next to nothing. So in my opinion this isn't worth getting as I'd rather save up for the outfit or the other rewards I'll mention now. Now the next two items are essential when training construction, not just by the contracts but in general, as you can get Amy's saw which is a wieldable saw which costs 500 points and will take a little bit of time to get. This doesn't provide the crystal saw boost but also it will give you one free inventory slot. Next we have the plank sack which you could probably guess what that's used for already, but this is a sack that costs 350 points and can hold an extra 28 planks. So it's just like the looting bag or the coal bag and this is such an OP reward as this will increase your XP rates by an extra 20k per hour. So I would advise getting the sack and the saw first. Now the last reward costs 2000 points and you can see why I stopped trying to get every item. But this is the Hasidious blueprint which is a Hasidious themed house style which in my opinion looks really really nice but is it worth 2000 points I'm not too sure. Now if you've got enough points for this and you want to buy it and put this in your POH, just simply have the blueprint in your inventory and go to any estate agent and ask to redecorate your house and then choose the Hasidious option which should be at the bottom and that's pretty much it. Now I've just realised I've got 395 points which is more than enough to buy the plank sack and now that will speed up things a lot. Now I was doing around 35 contracts an hour which is just over 100 points so not too sure if that is slow or fast but this is really repetitive so it can be boring and can slow you down quite a bit. I managed to complete 200 contracts now and I have 448 total points almost there to get Amy's saw. There we go guys I have the wieldable saw. This actually looks pretty cool and now I get a free inventory slot. 268 contracts later and I get myself the carpenter boots. I purchased my last and final item before I gave up and that was the carpenter hat which is 400 points. So in the end I finished off with 4 items so that was the plank sack, Amy's saw, the hat and boots. So there we go guys I really hoped I explained everything on how to start mahogany homes. I tried my best to go in as much detail as possible so yeah I really hope it helped. Now I'm working on my next video which is going to be 10 hours of Dagonoff King so stay tuned for that. So if this video helped you out give this a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel if you are new and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video I make. Until next time I'll see you guys in the next video.